Murica wins. As the referee made the announcement, the first match came to an end. The winning bracket had four countries, China, Murica, England, and Sun Nation. The losing bracket had four countries, Hellas, Tintu, Stig Nation, and Deutschland. Next, the winning teams would fight the other winning teams to determine the specific rankings of the top four. The losing teams would fight among themselves to determine the specific rankings of the bottom four. After the battle ended, everyone did not leave the stage like they did yesterday. Next was the second round of drawing lots. The winner and the loser would draw lots respectively. Below the stage, Taijun said solemnly, there are still two more matches. If you win the first match, you'll enter the finals and fight for the first place. If you lose the first match, you can only fight for the third or fourth place. Among the three countries, almost all of the participants from England were crippled. They are currently the weakest. If we drew them, it would be an easy victory. Murica fought against Deutschland and retained most of their strength. There were even two mid-stage innate stage martial artists who did not participate in the match. As for the Sun Nation, Zakawa is still in his peak condition. His spirit-devouring constitution is extremely terrifying and his fighting strength is remarkable. Sun Hong Tao continued, winning or losing is secondary. Once a country is matched with England, it'll be able to maintain minimal losses. That'll also be very beneficial for the fight for first place. This will depend on luck, Chen Xiaoxiao sighed softly. There was no doubt that the country of England was an alluring choice. Whoever matched with it would not only be able to win, but also have a chance to fight for first place. If China was matched with either Murica or the Sun Nation, the chances of winning would be quite high, but it would definitely wear them down as well, making it difficult for the next match. For now, we have the most reserved strength. Yi Lingchen is uninjured, Chen Xiaoxiao and Lin Shi have not been on the stage. Moreover, Jing Shan still has the strength to fight. The possibility of winning first place is the greatest, said Tai Jun. This time, Yi Lingchen will go up and draw lots. Let's see who our opponents will be, Sun Hong Tao said. Besides China, Murica and the Sun Nation were also having their own discussions. Their eyes were mainly focused on China. China's remaining strength was the strongest, and Yi Lingchen was giving them a lot of pressure. Prior to that, none of them knew the strength of each nation, so it did not matter if they drew lots. However, now that they had an estimate, they began to worry about their opponents. At that moment, Wu Tianbao suddenly announced loudly, I think everyone knows the reason why you stayed. Without further ado, let's invite the five judges on the stage to host the drawing of lots for everyone. Off stage, whether it was the contestants or the team leaders, their hearts raced. With the experience of drawing lots for the first time, everyone was familiar with the process. The victorious and defeated countries were divided into two groups. We must get England's team, Jing Shan started to pray again. As of then, England was definitely the weakest team of all with the lowest difficulty. If China could draw England and Murica fought the Sun Nation, then China would definitely be number one. Not only Jing Shan was praying, but the people from other countries were also praying. Yi Lingchen looked at the transparent box in front of him and casually walked up to it, calmly taking one. The others also picked one. The whole place quieted down instantly. Everyone was looking forward to the next match. England, England, Yi Lingchen, the Sun Nation, and Murica's candidate started to mumble at the same time. Who would not want to win? The faces of the English team turned dark. They stared at the three of them with unfriendly gazes, their hearts filled with resentment. Damn it, that's too much. While they were talking, Wu Tianbao spoke up and his voice reached everyone's ears. The winning group will fight first, the first round, China against the Sun Nation. The second round, Murica against England. The third round, Hellas against the Stig Nation. The fourth round, Tintu against Deutschland. Tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. sharp, the semifinals will officially begin. Our opponent is the Sun Nation. Sun Hong Tao frowned slightly. FCK, Murica is cheating, aren't they? They must be cheating? Jing Shan's expression immediately changed, huffing angrily. First, they matched against the weakest Deutschland, and now they are matched against England. This is simply too FC King smooth sailing, it's so infuriating. Shut up! The five peak King stage martial artists would never cheat, Sun Hong Tao immediately berated. Everyone felt uncomfortable, but they could only envy Murica's heaven-defying luck. Since we're going against the Sun Nation tomorrow, then let's analyze the current situation. Sun Hong Tao pondered for a moment and continued, 
Over at the Sun Nation, Zakawa is in peak condition and he has the spirit devouring constitution. His battle power is very high. The other threat would be Aso. At the mention of Aso, Yi Lingchen and the others' hearts sank. Only then did they recall the last battle against Hellas. That guy's body suddenly mutated and his strength skyrocketed. That was how he won. Although he was injured, his injuries were superficial. Moreover, he could mutate, so his threat was not lower than that of Zakawa. FCK. Jing Shan could not help but let out a curse. The Sun Nation is such a beast. They interfered in the competition to keep Zakawa safe and sound. They even changed the human body structure. They're insane. Murika is another freak with great luck. With that, the Sun Nation would be a big problem, not to mention that they still had to fight Murika after the victory. It would be very difficult for them to get first place. We must get first place. I'll be the first to go on stage, Yi Lingchen volunteered. Only by taking first place would Miracle Island be allowed to run a warrior's institute. Only then would he be able to turn Miracle Island into a holy land for martial arts and fight against the Void Realm. With a Hell's Gate near Miracle Island, that was something that had to be done. Taking first place would be the key to getting the support of the warrior's department. No, Tai Jun and Sun Hong Tao rejected him at the same time. Sun Hong Tao said, as our trump card, you have to conserve your strength. There can't be any accidents. It would be best if you let others exhaust your opponents first. You can go after that. Otherwise, if nothing goes wrong, we will be in big trouble when we fight against Murica later. China's goal was to be number one. Murica's strength was still very intact at the moment. Even if they fought against England, their strength would not be exhausted too much. If China suffered too great a loss in the battle against the Sun Nation, then it would be impossible to place first. Yi Lingchen frowned slightly, I'm not going up. Apart from Zakawa and Aso, the other three people in the Sun Country have no battle power at all. There's no need to consider. Moreover, it's best if we can test out Aso's mutated strength first, Sun Hong Tao said. I will go first, Jung Dali suddenly said. I can still hold on for a while and try to exhaust my opponent as much as possible. It's useless, Yi Lingchen shook his head. Zakawa has the spirit devouring constitution. It's useless for you to exhaust him. You won't be able to make any contribution. Instead, you'll make your injuries worse. Which one of you thinks that you can be Zakawa's opponent? Yi Lingchen looked at them. Jing Shan, Chen Xiaoxiao, and Lin Shi were all silent. Zakawa's strength was not only due to his spirit devouring constitution, but also his terrifying explosive power. With his inexhaustible spiritual energy and explosive power combined, his power and speed would become extremely terrifying. You guys can't beat Zakawa, and he has the spirit devouring constitution. Without enough spiritual energy, what can you guys do? Yi Lingchen asked. We can heavily injure him, Jing Shan said in a serious tone. Yi Lingchen said again, even if you can heavily injure Zakawa, the price you'll have to pay will be extremely high. When you fight with Murika, won't I be the only one left? Everyone frowned. I think it's best if I go first. Against Zakawa, if you want to fight, you'll have to defeat him directly. It's the stupidest way to exhaust him. Yi Lingchen followed up while he had the chance. Sun Hong Tao pondered for a moment. We still need to discuss this matter. Let's rest well tonight and prepare tomorrow's battle. The warriors department wanted to preserve as much of their strength as possible as the most crucial battle was the finals. The battle between the first and second place would be more dangerous when facing Murica. After dinner, Sun Hong Tao came to them again. It's decided. Let Yi Lingchen fight first tomorrow. After Sun Hong Tao said that, he fixed his eyes on Yi Lingchen and said in a low voice, Don't fight too hard in the battle. The Sun Nation will definitely let Zakawa fight first. If you defeat Zakawa, there's no need to fight anymore. It would be best if you can maintain your peak condition. Director Sun is right. You still have us behind you. With so many of us, can we not beat Aso? Lin Shi said immediately. Yi Lingchen nodded slightly and let out a breath. Don't worry, I don't intend to lose. I'll be careful. The next day, at the tournament venue, everyone was there. In the morning, it was the battle between China and the Sun Nation. This battle was also very eye-catching. The strength of the Sun Nation's counterattack caught them by surprise. The two of them, who were the main fighting force, were still in good condition and the threat was great. Next, it was up to China to respond. Discussions broke out everywhere. China's chances of victory were naturally very high, 
but it would also have to go through a tough battle. Moreover, it would be laughable if China lost unexpectedly. Speaking of which, the relationship between China and the Sun Nation is not good either, they have a feud. It's for sure that they hate each other, I wonder how their fight will be. I wonder what tactics China will use and who will be the first one to fight. I guess they will protect Yi Lingchen. After all, this kind of battle power should be reserved to deal with Murica. Speaking of which, Murica's luck is so good that it defies the heavens. While everyone was discussing, Wu Tianbao began announcing, I believe that many people are looking forward to this morning's battle, the Sun Nation versus China. Yesterday, we witnessed China's Yi Lingchen display his might. He defeated the Stig Nation with a trifecta. Some people even gave him the evaluation of being invincible among those of the same level. On the Sun Nation's side, Zakawa has the extremely rare spirit devouring constitution, giving him great strength. Meanwhile, Aso has the ability of the Void Realm's Dark Cat. What kind of strength he has is another mystery. All in all, the outcome of this battle is really hard to predict. I believe that everyone is like me, unable to wait any longer. In that case, we'll cut to the chase. Wu Tianbao laughed, ending these more controversial topics. According to the tournament rules, today is a battle between the victor's side. The victor will enter the finals, fighting for first and second place, while the loser will fight for third and fourth place. Next, let's see the lineup of China and the Sun Nation. As soon as he finished speaking, the big screen displayed the battle lineup of both sides. China. Yi Lingchen. Jing Shan. Lin Shi, Chen Xiaoxiao, Zheng Dali. Gasp. Yi Lingchen is actually arranged to go first. Wu Tianbao gasped in surprise. Yi Lingchen is without a doubt China's trump card. I thought that he would choose to reserve his strength and go all in during the finals, but he actually arranged to be the first to appear. Is he that confident in his own strength? If he's injured when facing Zakawa and also from the Sun Country, then it will be a bit difficult for him to win first place. On the stage, Lin Shi was not happy at all. She said with a cold face, What are these people trying to do? Xiao Xiao and I have never been on the stage before. How come our chances of winning are so low? Are we being ignored just like this? Are they looking down on women? I, Chen Xiao Xiao, am not someone to be trifled with. Chen Xiao Xiao snorted lightly. She was also displeased. Wu Tianbao continued to explain, EH, as expected, only two people from the Sun Nation can go on the stage. Sun Nation. Zakawa, also. It's still Zakawa at the lead. The spirit devouring constitution against Yi Lingchen. I didn't expect that today's first battle would be so exciting. Yi Lingchen, be careful when you get on the stage. Don't try to show off or take risks. Fight conservatively and stay safe, Sun Hongtao said solemnly. Be careful, Jing Shan and the others also reminded him. It's okay. Zakawa is not my match, Yi Lingchen smiled. Right then, hearing the referee calling for the contestants to go on stage, Yi Lingchen held his long spear and stepped out. On the other side, Zakawa's fat figure also walked out slowly, still holding onto the huge hammer in his hand. Many claim that you're invincible among the same level. I don't think so, Zakawa looked at Yi Lingchen and said, This title should belong to me, but it's fine. After I defeat you, the title will be mine. You people from the Sun Nation are still as shameless as ever. Yi Lingchen laughed, you fought with a woman, and you still needed external assistance. How are you still talking so arrogantly? If I were you, I would have been too embarrassed to go on stage to avoid being laughed at. If it weren't for others saving you, you would be lucky to be alive, and now you are still saying that you are invincible among those of the same level. To be honest, I have never seen such a shameless person. The Hellos team is too embarrassed to scold you, so I'll do it for them. Even if you have the spirit devouring constitution, you're still trash, a loser. After saying that, he even gave Zakawa the middle finger. Everyone was dumbfounded. Wu Tianbao did not know how to react either, so he could only keep silent. The Hellos team, on the other hand, were extremely relieved. Even the way they looked at Yi Lingchen became much more amiable. This Chinese guy is not weak. He's a real man. He's right. If it were not for the violation of the Sun Nation, Zakawa would have been pierced by Sister Arena. He wouldn't have been able to enter the arena at all. Arena was pale, but her complexion improved after hearing that. This guy, Sun Hong Tao, was speechless. He finally understood that Yi Lingchen could not be controlled at all. 
Just a moment ago, he had repeatedly told him to take it slow and steady to ensure that he was number one. In the blink of an eye, he had directly ridiculed Zakawa. He had all the aggro on him as he had provoked Zakawa to the extreme. It was exhausting Sun Hong Tao. You've completely pissed me off. Zakawa's eyes stared at Yi Lingchen as he leaned forward and said coldly. Yi Lingchen's expression did not change as he said lightly, Is that so? My apologies. No need for that. The best way to apologize is to let me cripple you completely, Zakawa grunted. Yi Lingchen burst into laughter. Then I'm afraid there's nothing I can do to help. Your strength is still far from sufficient. Huh? Zakawa could not help but laugh. You seem to be very confident. The reason I lost the last round was because of my carelessness. In fact, I can crush any martial artists of the same level. Only the weak will find excuses for their failure. Yi Lingchen shrugged. In fact, I feel bored fighting with you because you're too weak. You're too conceited, it's not conceited, but confidence. In the stance, a peak king stage martial artist laughed suddenly, Old Zhou, your little ones from China are too arrogant. Zhou Jian said indifferently, based on the results from the previous match, I don't think that's arrogance. I want to see how he can claim that Zakawa is weak. On the stage, Yi Lingchen continued, Aren't you equipped with the spirit devouring constitution? You were just throwing hammers at the girls all the while in the previous match. This time, let's be straightforward and fight head on, how about it? Zakawa grinned and said, If that's what you want, I'm more than happy to oblige. All right, let's do it then. Before Yi Lingchen finished his words, the long spear in his hand was already in the air. Whoosh! This time, the air shook even more violently, producing an explosive sound. The people in the front row of the stage, who were facing the long spear, immediately felt a piercing chill. Such an explosive spear chi. What a domineering spear technique. Wu Tianbao was shocked and exclaimed, Yi Lingchen's spear technique is actually so powerful. The power released by this spear attack was already infinitely close to peak innate stage. Before the tip of the spear reached, Zakawa already felt an intense threat and incomparable pressure. Roar! He roared and raised the heavy hammer in his hand, quickly sweeping outwards. Retreating was impossible, since he said he would face Yi Lingchen head on, then he would fight to the end. He had never been afraid of anyone in a competition of spiritual energy. Bang! A loud sound was heard as the long spear struck the heavy hammer. Sparks flew out from the friction between the two, and spiritual energy spread out wildly. Zakawa bellowed. His legs were half bent down and his face was red. His body was actually forced backwards bit by bit. What terrifying power! Yi Lingchen's power has surpassed Zakawa's. Wu Tianbao stood up from the judges' seats, extremely shocked. Zakawa's body size was completely out of proportion compared to Yi Lingchen. He was like an elephant. Along with his spirit devouring constitution, his explosive power was definitely remarkable. However, he was actually being suppressed by Yi Lingchen. Eye popping, unbelievable. It's endurance training. Yi Lingchen actually has a powerful endurance training martial art, and his cultivation is also at a high level. A king stage martial artist noticed the movement of the muscles on Yi Lingchen's arm causing his pupils to narrow as he cried out in surprise. Wu Tianbao quickly said, Endurance training, it's actually endurance training, genius, at this moment, I really can't think of any words to describe him. Compared to the others, Zakawa was affected the most. His face was full of resentment and surprise. However, just when he thought that he had blocked the spear attack, Yi Lingchen retracted his spear. However, it was only for a short distance before it continued to stab forward. Originally, such a small distance was not even enough to accumulate power, so the power of the spear strike should be very small. However, strangely enough, the power of this spear attack was no weaker than the previous one. Wu Tianbao was shocked again and said with a trembling voice, it's a double stab. This is a secret spear combo technique. The so-called secret technique could also be understood as a trump card. In a battle, it could burst out with power that far exceeded that of the same level and the result of the battle would be decided with a strike. Normally, it would be extremely difficult to learn, however, once mastered, the power would be devastating. It's the phoenix peck from the phoenix spear technique, Sun Hong Tao exclaimed in surprise. Didn't he just learn this spear technique? Has he already mastered this move? The phoenix peck was like a hundred birds pecking wood. The frequency was extremely high. It was rumored that when trained to the highest level, 
one could stab nine times in an instant. That was just terrifying. Zakawa naturally felt the terror of this spear, but he did not have the time to react. The rigidity of the heavy hammer was revealed at this moment, it was being directly targeted by the spear. Ding! Along with a clear sound, Zakawa's fat body was sent backwards rapidly. In the end, he sat down on the ground with a bang. His wrist was numb, and the heavy hammer almost fell out of his hand. Attack fiercely and retreat quickly. Offense and defense with proper measures. Immovable like a mountain, and strike like thunder. Yi Lingchen had such great accomplishments in his spear technique. He was actually still hiding tricks up his sleeves throughout the previous rounds. Wu Tianbao explained. Yi Lingchen carried his long spear on his shoulder and did not pursue the victory. He said mockingly, if no one comes to save you this time, you will be pierced by me. You are courting death. Zakawa suddenly stood up and charged towards Yi Lingchen like a huge beast. He raised the heavy hammer in his hand high and shouted, Mountain Smasher. Smashing the mountain with a hammer. Rather than defending, it was better to take the initiative to attack. His spiritual energy was like the sea, surging and roiling. An all-out attack. What shocking spiritual energy. Wu Tianbao was also shocked. These two people were so powerful. Yi Lingchen raised his spear, and with a shake of his wrist, the entire spear was covered with a thin layer of spiritual energy. It may not seem as powerful as Zakawa's, but it was abnormally tough, giving people a sense that it would pierce everything. The control of spiritual energy is almost perfect. He will surely triumph over those in the same rank, Zhou Jian laughed. Clang! A loud sound was heard once more. Yi Lingchen took a small step back, but Zakawa took a few steps back. His fat body was trembling slightly. This time, Yi Lingchen did not stop at all. With a gentle step, his body was like a swallow and his spear like a dragon. Countless afterimages of spears surrounded Zakawa. It's impossible to retreat. Wu Tianbao explained. Yi Lingchen's movement technique is far superior to Zakawa's. Zakawa can't even dodge. If he isn't careful, he'll be pierced into a hole. However, Yi Lingchen's spiritual energy was also extremely shocking. Even then, he did not show any signs of fatigue. His powerful endurance training, coupled with his extreme control over his spiritual energy, could indeed greatly increase his endurance. Clang! As he spoke, Yi Lingchen once again thrusted his spear at the heavy hammer. Then, he used the dragon capturing hand and pushed it away. The spear thrust out like lightning for the second time. The long spear directly pierced through Zokawa's shoulder, lifting up a string of blood. I surrender. Seeing that Yi Lingchen was still eager to take another strike, the leader of the Stig Nation quickly said, his heart aching. Zakawa's injury was not limited to this one spear attack. Yi Lingchen's attack was extremely vicious, and the pressure of the repeated spear strikes had already caused Zakawa's hands that were holding onto the hammer to be badly injured. Moreover, his internal organs had also been shaken quite badly. Who knew if he would still be able to participate in the battle the day after the next? Yi Lingchen put away his spear and stood up, shaking his head, weren't you said to be invincible among the same level with the spirit devouring constitution? How boring, you admitted defeat just like that? Is that all you can take? Peefed. Zakawa had suffered internal injuries from the earlier impact, but he had been holding it in. At that moment, he could not hold it in any longer and spat out a mouthful of blood, looking at Yi Lingchen with hatred. Yi Lingchen naturally would not hold back against the martial artists from the Sun Nation. Conflicts did not happen overnight, so if he had the opportunity, he would teach them a lesson. Soon, someone went up and carried Zakawa off the stage. On Hela's side, the contestants were also paying attention to this battle. That feels great. The wrist lips curled into a smile. After the battle between Arena and Zakawa, Arena was heavily injured and could no longer participate in the battle. However, her counterattack at the critical moment was not effective because of the shameless actions of the Sun Nation. Zakawa actually maintained his right to participate in the battle, which angered them greatly. They were not afraid of failure, but they were most afraid of being treated unfairly. Because of that, at the last moment, all five of them cried after losing the battle. It was evident how they felt at that time. However, they did not expect that the one who helped them vent their anger was actually Yi Lingchen from China's team. Do you guys think that Yi Lingchen is interested in Sister Arena? Hera asked suddenly. At the same time, she sized up Yi Lingchen with her beautiful eyes. He looks quite handsome. He is really manly too. 
The other's hearts raced slightly, it was a possibility. Yi Lingchen seemed to have been helping Irina to vent her anger the whole time. Was this something that a complete stranger would do? Irina pursed her lips and her face turned slightly red. On China's side, Sun Hongtao stared at Yi Lingchen and his face gradually turned gloomy. This kid, he's still not coming back. He still wants to continue fighting? Tai Jun frowned. They were naturally elated for Yi Lingchen to defeat Zakawa so efficiently. However, as the main fighting power, Yi Lingchen could not afford to lose. There was only Aso left in the Sun Nation, so Yi Lingchen did not need to continue fighting. This kid, he's too conceited, Sun Hongtao grunted in a low voice. However, he did not throw in the towel in Yi Lingchen's place. Ah, I knew it. It's just hopeless. Lin Shi curled her lips and a helpless look appeared on her face. She and Chen Xiaoxiao had not even entered the arena at all. They had been acting as bystanders the entire time. Although it was an easy win, as a martial artist, who would not like to prove their worth? E.H. Wu Tianbao let out a light exclamation, Yi Lingchen is still standing in the arena. Could it be that he still wants to continue fighting? The others also looked at Yi Lingchen in surprise. Could it be that he was able to continue fighting? Wu Tianbao continued to explain, logically speaking, Yi Lingchen's spiritual energy consumption should be quite significant. On China's side, there are still three people who maintained battle power, and there are two female martial artists who haven't even entered the arena yet. Conservatively speaking, Yi Lingchen has already done well and should let his teammates enter the arena. I remember that Yi Lingchen said in the beginning that the Chinese female martial artists need not step foot in the arena. Could it be that he still wants to do this? Zhang Hua wins. Let's invite Aso from the Sun Nation to enter the arena. The judge announced. He then looked at Yi Lingchen for confirmation. Are you not planning to change the candidate? No need. Let's finish the fight quickly, Yi Lingchen said calmly. Confident kid. The Peak King stage martial artist from Hellas laughed. Yi Lingchen helped them vent their anger and he found Yi Lingchen a lot more pleasing to the eye. In the arena, seeing the last person from the Sun Nation on the stage, Yi Lingchen smiled and said, Your mutation is the result of Amaterasu genetics? Yes. Aso nodded slightly and said coldly, I've heard of you. You destroyed a lot of the results of Amaterasu genetics. However, it's also because of this that they joined forces with us to make another breakthrough. If you didn't insist on fighting in this battle, I would have just forfeited, however, since you're still here, don't blame me for taking advantage of the chance to teach you a lesson. Taking advantage of this situation? Teaching me a lesson? Yi Lingchen mocked. I admire your optimism and wishful thinking. Do you seriously think you can injure me and make our Chinese team lose the next match? After severely injuring you, the first place will naturally belong to Murica. Black fur had already appeared on Aso's hands, and his claws became sharp directly entering the mutated state. So it's for Murika E.H. He he. Begin, the judge gave the order. Yi Lingchen's spear spun slightly, and the first move was his ultimate attack. Aso's legs bent and retreated quickly. With the dark cat gene, he was extremely fast and agile. Do you really think that I'm slower than you? Yi Lingchen's foot floated in the air as he stepped on air to chase after him. What's this? Wu Tianbao was dumbfounded. He took a deep breath and said with uncertainty, is he showing off his martial arts? Ah, uh, it seems like he's really showing off his martial arts. Wu Tianbao was completely speechless. Yi Lingchen was just showing off his skills. Did he really need to be so cool in a battle with others? Furthermore, flying in the air? Flight had always been the ability that humans dreamed of. Only when one reached the king stage could one's physical body take flight. Apart from that, one had to resort to alternate methods. For example, China's levity techniques could also make one's body as light as a swallow. However, before the king stage, few people could achieve flight. Furthermore, martial artists were a battle-hungry bunch. How many would actually study levity techniques? Yi Lingchen's skills were indeed enviable. His movements are unpredictable and has great speed. This is truly enviable, Wu Tianbao, who was at the peak of the Shenzhen realm admitted enviously. Yi Lingchen had advanced parkour and basic windwalk skill. His levity techniques worked in tandem, giving him speed comparable to regular king stage martial artists. Moreover, not only could he fly, he also had some offensive abilities. Yi Lingchen circled around Aso and kept striking with both of his feet. 
streams of chi gushed out from under his feet like blades, sweeping towards Aso. Aso's body moved fluidly like a cat, twisting at strange angles to avoid the attacks. Right then, Yi Lingchen jumped in the air and stabbed out with his spear. Aso let out a low growl and his claws tore through the air. Clang! The sharp claws collided with the tip of the spear and deflected it. Following that, Aso jumped rapidly and quickly reached Yi Lingchen's height, his sharp claws once again lashing out. His paws were covered in black fur and the black claws were over a foot in length. They were almost as long as a human's arm. Right then, Yi Lingchen abandoned his spear and similarly used his claw technique to meet the attack. Dragon catch your hand. Bang bang bang. Within 30 seconds, the two figures crisscrossed and actually clashed with over a hundred claw strikes. On the stage, only the afterimages of claws could be seen dancing. Their figures flashed and their spiritual energy was like vicious blades. He withstood the claws of a genetically modified martial artist with his human body. Wu Tianbao was amazed. Yi Lingchen's claw technique and endurance training have both reached the peak of perfection. What a formidable person. The more he fought, the more frightened he became. A violent instinct gradually awakened in Aso's heart. He actually let out a hissing sound similar to that of a nightcat. It was also at this time that Yi Lingchen shifted his claw into a fist. With a full-powered Arhat's fist force, a fist landed on Aso's black claw. Bang! Yi Lingchen's fist was like iron, and its power greater than a cannon. That fist directly broke through Zakawa's palm. Aso's entire body was like a kite with a broken string, flying backwards in the air. Surrender, Sun Nation's team leader said hurriedly, afraid that Yi Lingchen would follow up with another heavy blow. Zakawa had already been crippled by Yi Lingchen. Although Aso had lost one of his arms, he still had the strength to fight. If they did not admit defeat, he would definitely end up in a miserable state. By then, if they were matched against England, they would have to forfeit immediately. What a pity. All of you admitted defeat so quickly. Yi Lingchen shook his head and said, You talk big, yet admit defeat so quickly? Don't be so smug. The awakened ones from Murica are born to counter the martial artists of your country. Just wait. You will taste defeat, Aso sneered. It's really funny that you are so stubborn even though you're an abomination. Yi Lingchen shrugged. The human body itself is a treasure trove with limitless potential. If you insist on turning into a beast, you're an idiot. After saying that, Yi Lingchen did not even look at Aso. He lifted up his spear and got off the stage. Yi Lingchen already had a deep understanding of genetics. Amaterasu genetics had gone astray. It was indeed possible to use the traits of beasts to improve the human body, but it should focus on humans as the base, developing beneficial traits of humans to further evolve its genes. However Amaterasu genetics was going about it in reverse. Aso's self-awareness would become weaker and weaker in battle. Frenzied killing was a huge flaw and had hidden dangers. Moreover, if he became a beast, he would indeed become stronger in a short period of time. However, it came at the cost of his potential. He would be neither human nor beast for his entire life. China wins. Following the judge's announcement, the stunned audience recovered from their days and started exclaiming endlessly. Wu Tianbao then started explaining, double knockout, and not even a scratch on him. This is just unbelievable. Yi Lingchen has become the number one among his peers. Back in the Chinese team's corner, Yi Lingchen could feel the resentful glares around him. Yi Lingchen, why didn't you leave any for us? Lin Shi complained, do you really not want me to fight? Me too. Chen Xiaoxiao chimed in. Yi Lingchen smiled and said, pretty ladies, as long as you keep up your good looks, you'll be invincible. What's the point of fighting? Blair. Don't think that you'll get away with sweet talking, Lin Shi and Chen Xiaoxiao both sneered. However, they did not pursue the matter. Even female martial artists could not help enjoying compliments. 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Everyone was gathered around the tournament venue. Murica vs. England. It was another highly anticipated battle. England had already proven that they were not weak, but they also suffered heavy injuries. No one knew how they would fare against Murica. Yi Lingchen and the others were also paying attention to this battle. As expected, your opponent in the finals will be Murica. This is the only battle where you can learn more of your opponents. You have to watch them carefully, Sun Hong Tao said solemnly. Then he frowned and said worriedly, if the English team chooses not to fight, it would be difficult for us. Will they give up? 
Yi Ling Chen asked. It's hard to say. Sun Hong Tao shook his head. The five participants from England are all heavily injured. They won't have any chance of winning against Murica. It's very likely that they will conserve their strength and just go through the motions, saving it to deal with the Sun Nation. Damn, Murica's luck is too damn good. Jing Shan could not help but complain again. We fought all the way here while they had it easy, it's not fair. Luck itself is also a type of strength. Sun Hong Tao was extremely calm. Blaming others when facing a disadvantageous situation will only make the situation worse. Only by facing it objectively can we solve the problem. England and Murica should be fighting seriously, Tai Jun interjected suddenly. Why? Jung Dali asked curiously. They both consist of awakened ones and they have their pride. They will definitely have a good fight. Moreover, with Ling Chen's ruthlessness towards the Sun Nation, they're now in a bad spot. Murica will definitely help reduce England's strength. To help the Sun Nation's martial artists defeat the English team? That is possible, Sun Hong Tao nodded and said. While everyone was discussing, Wu Tianbao began his announcements. In this morning's match, China's Yi Lingchen amazed us with his strength and I believe that he has left an impression on many people. It can be said to be extremely wonderful. Next, it will be Murica versus England. Both sides are awakened ones and I believe that it will also bring us a wonderful battle. However, England suffered heavy losses during its match with Tintu. They have hardly any combat power remaining. What tactics will they adopt next? Wu Tianbao laughed and continued. Now, let's have a look at the lineup from both countries. As he finished speaking, the large screen displayed the battle lineup of both sides. Murica. Sean. A plus awakened, Owen. A plus awakened, Anna. A plus awakened, Kevin. A plus awakened. Sean was of the metal element, Owen was of the water element, Anna was of the fire element, and Kevin was of the wood element. Yi Ling Chen noted the attributes of these four people in his mind. As for John, he had been severely injured during the battle with the Deutschland and could not participate in the match. Only four people from Murica can participate in the match. It seems that John has yet to recover from his injuries. However, out of the four, apart from Owen being slightly injured, the other three are all at their peak. They are very scary. Wu Tianbao continued, England, Anthony, Joey, and Alex. Gasp. Their injuries are quite serious. Can they still fight? Chen Xiaoxiao covered her mouth and asked in disbelief. Anthony's injuries were slightly better. He was awakened with the lightning element. He appeared first in the match against Tintu. He was also the strongest in England. After suffering a blow to his abdomen, he went through two days of recuperation and had recovered half of his strength. As for Joey and Alex, they were in a much more miserable state. One of Joey's hands was still wrapped in bandages and the ribs on her chest had not recovered. His face was pale and no one knew how much strength he could muster. Alex's body was covered in wounds. He had been injured by a spiritual energy storm. However, most of them were superficial wounds, having his combat potential. The four participants from Murica were all at the peak of their strength, going up against the three injured participants from England. This lineup comparison was nothing but tragic. England has chosen Anthony to go first. As an awakened one of the lightning element, he has shocked everyone in the battle against Tintu. I hope that he will also bring us a surprise today. Let's send out the participants from both sides. As the referee gave the order, Sean and Anthony went on stage. Anthony was still holding onto the short sword in his hand. His eyes were full of solemnity. Sean, sporting his head full of blonde hair, smirked arrogantly. From the looks of it, England is prepared to fight, Sun Hong Tao said in a deep voice. I hope England can severely injure the Murican team, Jing Shan said with anticipation, come on. Anthony vs. Sean. Let the match begin, following the referee's order, Sean went on the offensive. His weapon was a longsword. In an instant, the entire longsword was covered in a layer of golden light. It was extremely dazzling. At the same time, a sharp aura spread out hurting the eyes of the observers. The metal element is sharp indeed, Jung Dali said in a deep voice, his eyes filled with fear. If his martial artists fight with him, we will be at a disadvantage. In the earlier stages, awakened ones do have an edge over martial artists as their abilities are very focused and extremely refined, Tai Jun said. As I said before, what you are training is spiritual energy while they are trained in the elements. They are two different attributes and each has their own strengths. 
Are you comparing spiritual energy to metal elements sharpness? Isn't that using the enemy's strength to fight against your own weakness? Sun Hong Tao said lightly. Everyone nodded. Yi Ling Chen watched the match, however, it was undeniable that in the early stages, when there were not so many tricks to utilize the spiritual energy of a martial artist, an awakened fighter would indeed have a certain advantage against a martial artist. Crackle. Lightning flashed under Anthony's feet, and his body turned into an afterimage as he retreated rapidly. Whoosh. Sean's longsword shot out a streak of golden light, easily sinking into the ground and leaving a deep mark. The next moment, Sean looked in the direction where Anthony had retreated, he raised his longsword up high, and a golden sword light soared into the sky. An even greater sword chi was released and slashed toward Anthony. Strong, Wu Tianbao explained, Anthony is injured, so he wanted to avoid a direct confrontation and drag it out. However, Sean clearly did not let him have his way. His attacks had been suppressing Anthony all the while, forcing him to fight head on. Boom! The long's word swept across the ring and golden light exploded. Dust and rocks flew everywhere. Crackle. Within the dust cloud, an electric arc suddenly shot out, heading straight for Sean's face. Sean's expression remains unchanged. The long's word in his hand stabbed out, easily cutting through the electric arc. However, right at that moment, another electric flash appeared right under Sean's feet. Anthony's body slid against the ground. The short sword in his hand rolled with the electric current, stabbing straight into Sean's abdomen. It was a high-speed surprise attack, like a venomous snake. Clang, however, when the short knife stabbed into Sean's body, the sound of metal colliding rang out. Is that an armor? Jing Shan's eyes widened. The defense is crazy. This is against the rules. He's actually wearing armor? It's not armor, Tai Jun said directly, it's the metal element's defense. That's right. Besides being sharp, the metal element also has another characteristic, which is hardness, Sun Hong Tao said lightly. Everyone frowned slightly, the advantage of an awakened was too obvious. After missing the first attack, Anthony was also slightly stunned, then, he narrowly avoided Sean's follow-up attack. This. Yi Ling Chen frowned slightly. Sean must have purposely created an opening to bait Anthony's attack. However, why did he not attack immediately? If he had not missed, the victor would have been decided just then. However, when Yi Ling Chen noticed the electric current on Anthony's short blade, a glow of revelation appeared in his eyes. It was the numbing effect of the electric current. Indeed, one had to pay special attention to the characteristics of the awakened ones when battling them. Anthony's power is a little lacking, Wu Tianbao said suddenly. Indeed, not long after he finished speaking, Sean's golden sword light slashed onto Anthony's thigh. Fortunately, the people from England shouted out their surrender at the first moment, so the injury was not too serious. It's a pity that Anthony is injured. Otherwise, it would have been an even more exciting battle, Wu Tianbao said regretfully. Next, let's invite the second participant from England, Joey, to the stage. Joey was an earth element awakened one, and his specialty was strength and defense. However, he was already injured, and after exhausting a great portion of Sean's spiritual energy, he was defeated. Switch. Right at that moment, Sean chose to leave and switch, sending Owen in. What a pity. Sun Hong Tao sighed lightly, Murica is too cautious. If Sean continues to fight, he will most likely be injured by the third participant from England and he will pose less of a threat to us. After saying that, he even glared at Yi Ling Chen. See how cautious and how much he loves himself. Yi Ling Chen curled his lips in disdain. There were only a few chances in life to show off, how could he miss it? Owen was of water element and was up against Alex of the metal element. Although Alex was of the same metal element as Sean, the two went on completely different paths. One controlled metal, while the other enhanced metal with the ability to penetrate and defend. It was unknown whether it was because of the different awakened abilities or due to differences in training directions. Thinking about it, the awakened ones were the same as the martial artists, having different factions. Owen's weapon was a whip. During the battle with the Deutschland, he once showed an attacking move that caught Yi Ling Chen's interest. Yi Ling Chen had been curious about how Owen could attack using water element. Later on, he found out that Owen covered his whip with water, drenching the whole whip in it. It was only 2 meters long, but it had a swinging reach of over 10 meters. Moreover, this whip was really like a water dragon. It could change its shape at will, making it hard for people to defend against it. 
A wet towel can be very painful when hitting people. The power of the water was very strong. One whip was comparable to a machete. Murica was so cautious that they defeated England without any unexpected outcomes. With the referee's announcement that afternoon's match ended, the two contestants were China and Murica. In two days, they would compete in the finals. After that, it would be the Sun Nation against England, competing for third and fourth place. That night, Yi Lingchen and the others did not talk about the tournament anymore. Instead, they had a good rest, which was rare for them. The next day, in the morning, Tintu fought against Deutschland. Although Tintu suffered significant injuries, Deutschland was not much better off either. Moreover, the participants from Deutschland were not very powerful. Naturally, Tintu turned out victorious. In the afternoon, Hellas was fighting against the Stig nation. There was no competition at all and Hellas advanced without any issues. Sung Yun Li's face was dark and gloomy, so much so that one could wring ink out of it. He looked at Yi Lingchen and wanted to slaughter him. If it were not for Yi Lingchen's ruthless attacks, they would not have been in such a situation. All of Stig Nation's battle power had been destroyed, and there was not even a single person left standing. Yi Lingchen ignored Sung Yun Li's gaze. He even found it laughable. What's this? The last place dares to have an opinion about the champion. That night, everyone gathered together. Looking at the crowd before him, Sun Hong Tao said in a deep voice, Tomorrow is the finals, and also the last match. The first match should be our match against Murica. What do you all have to say about the battle lineup? Everyone looked at each other with some solemnity. It was really difficult to arrange the battle lineup for the final match. They had already witnessed the strength of Murica that day. The four remaining participants were all at their peak. Moreover, just like China, there were still two people who had yet to fight. The next day's match would undoubtedly be the most dangerous one. If they won, they would be the champion, without a doubt, Murica would definitely go all in. In order to win, the intensity of the fight would far exceed the previous matches. Zheng Dali did not give in and said, Director Sun, I want to fight. Yi Lingchen curled his lips and said, What are you going to fight with? Just lie down and recuperate. Don't cause any more trouble. I. Jung Dali had a depressed look on his face and said unhappily, Director Sun, although I'm injured, I can at least last for a while and give you a better chance of winning. You haven't recovered from your injury, so forget it. Sun Hong Tao pondered for a moment and said, The finals are very important and the opponents will definitely go all out. If you go on stage in this state, I am afraid it won't end well for you. In such circumstances, everyone would be ruthless. If Murica sent out injured people to exhaust Yi Lingchen, then he would definitely finish the opponent off as fast as possible, and his attacks would be especially fierce. The injured participants would definitely suffer a miserable fate. I'll be first. I've never been on stage before, Lin Shi quickly said. Me too. I'll be second, Chen Xiaoxiao added. Let me go first. I'm a man, so I'll take the front. Ling Chen is the strongest, so let him be the last, Jing Shan suggested. It said that the awakened ones can suppress martial artists. We'll take the front first. Even if we exchange one for another, it won't be a loss. We'll leave the rest to Ling Chen. Sun Hong Tao looked at him. He did not know where this confidence came from. One for one. If only it was that easy. Why don't I go first? Yi Ling Chen suggested. No, if you're the first, the opponent will resort to sacrificing their participants. If you lose, it'll be very dangerous, Sun Hong Tao rejected outright. Okay, it'll be Jing Shan, Lin Shi, Chen Xiaoxiao, with Yi Ling Chen being the last one. Sun Hong Tao finally decided on the candidates. Zheng Dali's face turned red. He also wanted to fight for a chance to go on stage, but he could not do it. After a night of silence, the next day, on the final stage of the International Martial Arts Tournament, in the blink of an eye, it's the last two days of the International Martial Arts Tournament. It's China versus Murica. Wu Tianbao explained excitedly, opening the prelude to the finals, whether it's Murica or China, both have two participants who have yet to take part. Moreover, both countries maintained a large portion of their combat power. It's definitely an exciting competition, a clash between titans. Wu Tianbao was extremely expectant. These few days, I've had a lot of thoughts. Some moments are still deeply engraved in my mind at this moment. They knew that they were outmatched, but they fought to the bitter end without retreating. They traded blows to create opportunities for their teammates. They entered the arena with injuries and fought to the end. 
All of you have already explained what a martial artist is. Young martial artists need such courage and vigor. It's precisely because of such martial artists that we have our current achievements. That's why we are here today. After ending the opening speech of the finals, Wu Tianbao cut straight to the point. Today, China will be fighting against Murica. Will Murica defend their champion position from the previous year, or will China turn the tables and seize the spot? Let's have a look at the battle lineup from both sides. China, Jing Shan, Lin Shi, Chen Shaoshao, Yi Lingchen, Murica, Shan, Anna, Owen, Kevin. Seeing such a battle lineup, Wu Tianbao was slightly surprised. China and Murica actually changed their strategies at the same time. Yi Lingchen was the trump card. Meanwhile, the two female martial artists who had never been on the stage were prepared to go on the stage. It shows that they were aiming for the first place with a safe strategy. As for Murica, although Xiao En was still in the lead, Anna had never been on the stage before. Right now, she was actually the second one to go on the stage. Meanwhile, Kevin, the youngest awakened one from Murica, was still the last one, acting as their trump card. Kevin is at the bottom. Does Murica have so much confidence in him? Tai Jun frowned slightly. That guy has always been arranged to be the last. He has never made a move. I don't know how much he's hiding, Sun Hong Tao said with some worry. It's the last battle. Everyone, be careful. Don't worry. Even if I lose, I will bring my opponent down with me. Jing Shan held a long's word and slowly went on stage. Be careful, on the stage. Shan and Jing Shan quickly went on the stage. Both of them were using swords and their gazes were extremely sharp. Begin, as soon as the referee gave the order, Shan was like a great ape charging forward with the force of a mountain and chopped directly at Jing Shan. Jing Shan twisted his body slightly like a nimble snake and followed up with countless sword strikes. Clang, clang, clang. The gold and white long swords kept clashing in the air. Their sharp spiritual energy hacked at the surroundings. Sean did not have many moves, but each of his moves contained extremely powerful piercing force. As for Jing Shan's sword moves, although they were numerous, once they clashed, they would be nullified by Sean. The enhancement of the metal element was too great. This kind of feeling was like fighting with an ordinary weapon against a divine weapon. The gap was too great. Backstage, Yi Lingchen watched for a while and said, Sean's metal element is equal to both attack and defense. However, his movements and movement techniques are not as good as Xiao En's. Jing Shan should be waiting for an opportunity to break through Xiao En's defense with his ultimate sword. The advantage of a martial artist fighting against an awakened one lies in the flexibility of their martial arts, Sun Hong Tao replied with a nod. Jing Shan is still injured, Chen Xiaoxiao said worriedly. Under such circumstances, a slight injury could be fatal. It was all the more dangerous as Jing Shan's injury was quite severe. At that moment, it was as though Sean picked up on Jing Shan's weakened state. His attacks suddenly increased in intensity and turned into a violent storm. The Long's word in Jing Shan's hand whirled. Although he could block the golden sword light that kept charging at him, his body was pushed back. The next moment, Sean raised the golden sword in his hand and slashed at Jing Shan's head. Jing Shan blocked the attack with his sword. Clang! Jing Shan's body shook and he flew backward. Following that, Sean raised his leg and stomped heavily on the ground. Then, he rushed toward Jing Shan who had landed on the ground. The golden light covered the body of the sword. In the blink of an eye, he was in front of Jing Shan and slashed down again. Jing Shan immediately held his sword horizontally to block the attack, but his body was hit hard on the ground. A deep pit was created on the ground. The sharp energy spread through the longsword to Jing Shan's face, leaving several wounds. Crack. The sound of bones breaking could be heard, and it wasn't just one sound. Clang! Jing Shan's hand trembled slightly, and his body spun on the ground, slithering along the ground like a snake. There was a flash of light, a thin sword was pulled out by him. There was a sword hidden within the sword, the same scene played out again. The hidden sword in Jing Shan's sword had already appeared before, so it was not a secret, and many people were afraid of it. However, knowing it was one thing, but being able to defend against it was another. This move could be considered Jing Shan's ultimate move. Moreover, the hidden thin sword was extremely sharp. The thin sword followed his wrist and slashed forward. Swoosh! The sword ray actually cut open the armor on Shan's abdomen, drawing blood. We surrender, 
Sun Hong Tao also did not hesitate and said directly. Jing Shan's injury this time was extremely serious. Many of his ribs and backbones were broken. His dominant hand was also injured and his internal organs were also damaged to varying degrees. The last sword attack had exhausted him to the core. He could not even stand up and lay on the ground, waiting for someone to get him. As for Shang, he was clutching his abdomen, his face gloomy. This injury was quite severe and it would affect him greatly in the future. Although he won, the Chinese team was not at a disadvantage. Everyone was not surprised that Shan had won. He was very powerful and was able to restrain Jing Shan. Moreover, Jing Shan was still injured. However, it was not easy for Jing Shan to cut Shan's abdomen. Murica won the first round. However, the atmosphere on Murica's team was not better than China's. On the contrary, it was a bit depressing. They had never expected Shan to be so heavily injured in this fight. Originally, they had hoped that Shan would take down a few more opponents to pressure Yi Lingchen. China team, Lin Shi, onto the stage, as the referee announced, Lin Shi slowly went on stage. Be careful. Everyone looked at Lin Shi worriedly. HMPH, I'll show them that we female martial artists are not to be trifled with, Lin Shi snorted lightly. The fourth battle, Lin Shi versus Shan. As soon as he went on stage, Shan rushed over quickly. The longsword in his hand sliced through the air and sent a sword light flying over. Perhaps he was angry, or perhaps he was worried about his injury and did not dare to delay. Shan's attack was extremely fierce. Everyone thought that he would act reservedly because of the wound on his abdomen, but he did not care at all. It was as if he was oblivious to the blood loss. His spiritual energy surged crazily, and his body was also squirming. So fierce, Wu Tianbao sighed and said, this is what it means to be a fighter, that sword strike utilized all the strength in Shan's body. The wound was long and thin to begin with. With that, he began bleeding profusely. It was inevitable that he would lose too much blood. If the wound was left open throughout the fight, he might not be able to recover even after three to four months of recuperation. At first, Lin Shi saw that Shan was being careless with his injury, however, she did not expect Shan to be so desperate. In the brief moment where her guard was down, Shan had already approached her. Seeing that the long's word was coming at her viciously, Lin Shi could only hurriedly raise the long whip in her hand to block it. The sharp metal aura directly penetrated through and instantly left a deep wound on Lin Zai's left arm. Her entire body was pushed back rapidly. Backstage. Tai Jun sighed softly, she was too careless. She shouldn't have hesitated and took advantage of his weakness to take his life. She should have taken the initiative when she went on stage. Instead, she let the opponent take the initiative. Shan was already injured, and Lin Shi had never been on stage. She was in her peak condition when she went on stage for the first time, but even so, she was injured as soon as she entered the arena. It was really not right. Lin Shi clearly did not expect this situation. Her eyes were slightly red, and a hint of ruthlessness flashed through them. She had also been on the battlefield. She had wanted to come up and exchange a few words to delay Shan's injury, but she did not expect him to be so crazy. You hurt the enemy at your own expense? Do you really think I may push over? I'll beat you to death? Lin Shi frowned as she watched Shan cough up blood. She chided him and instantly went all out. She had thought that this would be her first time on the stage and that she would win a little more elegantly. She had not expected to encounter such a situation, which immediately infuriated her. Whoosh! The whip danced in her hand like a silver snake. With a violent lash, Shan's longsword was flung away. She then leapt into the air. The air was filled with a myriad of afterimages of her whip as she swung it toward Shan. Amazing levity! Wu Tianbao exclaimed in admiration. Chinese martial arts are indeed unique. This young lady's movement technique is actually able to move through the air. One should know that this is an ability that can only be mastered by those who have reached the king stage. Crash! The whip cut through the air, emitting an explosive sound. It was also like the angry howl of a demonic beast. Lin Zai's beautiful eyes were filled with fury. She had not been on the stage all this while and had been holding back her anger. She could not bear to lose face when she just got on the stage. The female martial artists of China were also very powerful. Strong, Yi Lingchen was also amazed. Lin Zai's main cultivation should be Qinggong and whip technique, and she had mastered them well. Right at that moment, Shan, who had taken the initiative to attack earlier started to retreat slightly after being whipped a few times. 
His sword was focused on sharpness and did not have many moves. Facing the myriad of whips coming in from all directions, it was really difficult to defend. Therefore, he wanted to widen the gap and look for an opportunity. However, before he took a step back, the long whip let out a sharp whistle. Then, like the breath of a venomous snake, it went straight for Sean's face. Sean did not have the time to think. He quickly raised his long sword and slashed down. Clang! Both Sean and Lin Shi were shocked at the same time. Sean was because of his wound, while Lin Shi from her lack of strength. Her strength is not as good as mine. I can't delay any longer. Sean's made up his mind. Looking at the whip sweeping over again, he let out an angry roar. Spiritual energy covered the lawn's word and slashed out again. The sharp golden light dazzled everyone's eyes and directly scattered the myriad of whip attacks. Immediately after that, Sean raised his sword again and the sword light swept out. Whoosh! The golden sword light swept out and the area it covered grew larger and larger, as if it would cut through everything. This is. Dot the battle skill of an awakened one, Wu Tianbao explained, this is the first time Sean used a battle skill. The so-called battle skill is similar to a martial artist's secret technique. It explodes with strength that is far greater than usual, but consumes a lot of energy. This is already the third time, with each sword stronger than the last. Sean is forcing Lin Shi to fight him head on, trying to exhaust Lin Shi as much as possible. Lin Zai's movement technique is better than Sean's, and the whip's attacks are more flexible. Sean is still injured and can't afford to drag it out. This seems to be the only way, but. Everyone looked at Sean's abdomen. As he attacked like that, the wound on his abdomen had already expanded by 30%. Because he had lost too much blood, Sean's face was somewhat pale. Under the golden light, Lin Zai's face was also solemn. Spiritual energy surged out from her entire body. The whip was like a swimming dragon, circling around her body. Under the golden sword light, the two were clearly separated, and they were stuck in a stalemate. Boom! The next moment, both of them were sent flying at the same time. Sean was lying on the ground and it was difficult for him to stand up. Lin Zai's face was pale. Although she was still standing, there were more than 10 wounds on her body. Both sides suffered heavy losses, the whole arena also fell into silence. Many people quietly swallowed a mouthful of saliva. Yi Lingchen shook his head with a bitter smile. Lin Shi had risked her life mainly to avenge Jing Shan and also to show him that the female warriors of China were also very powerful. Shan had obviously lost the ability to fight. Lin Shi was only a little exhausted and still stood on the stage. Do you still want to continue? The referee looked at Lin Shi. Yes. As the sound of her voice faded, the red-haired Anna slowly walked onto the stage from Murika's corner. The atmosphere in the arena once again turned solemn. Two female martial artists were fighting, and the injuries on both sides were about the same. Whoosh! Without saying anything else, Anna raised her arm slightly, and scarlet flames let out a roar. It was like a fiery snake, sweeping towards Lin Shi. Lin Zai's eyes narrowed and the whip in her hand swung out as well, shooting straight into the flames. The whip was imbued with Lin Zai's spiritual power, parting the flames and stabbing towards Anna like a bolt of lightning. Anna's footsteps halted slightly as she dodged the attack. At the same time, she raised her other hand and another jet of flames shot towards Lin Zai's face. Ha! Huh? Lin Shi grunted. With a flick of her wrist, the whip formed numerous afterimages, as if stirring the flames. At the same time, the whip moved in all directions, attacking Anna. However, although the whip was extremely fast, Anna's movement technique was also elusive. She was always able to dodge the whip's attacks by a hair's breadth. In the arena, from time to time, there would be flames flying and whips striking. Anna's advantage lies in the flexibility of the flames. Tai Jun's voice carried a hint of worry. A very flexible mage, Yi Lingchen concluded. For Anna, the flames can be manipulated at will. Combined with her flexible movement technique, it's troublesome for her opponent. Although Lin Zai's whip can block the flames, she only has one whip. Moreover, she still has to attack, which is a bit too much for her. The advantage of an awakened one is indeed huge. In the next moment, Yi Lingchen frowned, it doesn't look good. As Anna moved around, the surroundings of the arena had already been covered in flames. One by one, the flames surrounded Lin Shi, forming a frightening sea of flames. The flames made everyone's cheeks flush red, and the extreme temperature caused distortions in the air. 
It was obvious that Anna's movements had a purpose and she had set up a sea of flames. Tai Jun pursed his lips and finally shouted, We surrender. Under such circumstances, Lin Shi was obviously unable to fend off the endless sea of flames. However, controlling such a large number of flames was obviously a great burden on Anna as well, causing her to be slightly dispirited. In the third round, it was Chen Xiaoxiao versus Anna and Chen Xiaoxiao won. In the fourth round, it was Chen Xiaoxiao versus Owen and both sides suffered heavy injuries. It's the finals, outside the arena, everyone swallowed a mouthful of saliva and muttered to themselves. In the fifth round, China's Yi Lingchen versus Murica's Kevin. Both parties, please enter the arena, along with the referee's voice, everyone held their breaths and stared at the arena. Kevin, trump card of Murica, had yet to make an appearance. It was obvious that Murica was very confident in his strength. Yi Lingchen, with his trifecta, was publicly recognized as invincible. The most important thing was that both of them were the youngest participants so far. The two young geniuses are fighting, they are both freaks. This battle is really something to look forward to. It's the final battle. Tai Jun looked at Yi Lingchen and did not say anything, he just nodded lightly. Lin Shi, Chen Xiaoxiao, and the others were the same. Their eyes were filled with encouragement and worry. Don't worry, I'll definitely win the finals. Yi Lingchen shrugged indifferently and walked onto the stage. On the other side, Kevin looked at Yi Lingchen calmly. His dark green hair fluttered in the wind. This kind of calmness represented his extreme confidence in himself. Some people think that we have excellent luck, Kevin suddenly said, then continued, but what they don't know is that their luck is too good. If they ran into me, that would be true despair. As for you, your luck is obviously not very good. Yi Lingchen raised his eyebrows slightly, oh, the color of your hair matches your narcissism. Peefed. Jing Shan and the others burst out laughing. Chen Xiaoxiao and Lin Zai's cheeks instantly turned red, and they let out a light chuckle. The people from other countries also had strange expressions on their faces. It was obvious that this Chinese joke had already made its way into the world. You're courting death, for the first time, anger appeared on Kevin's face. Green hair was originally nothing, and it had also greatly complimented his appearance. Wherever he went, he would attract attention. However, it just so happened that on the Chinese side, green hair was made fun of. That was also something that Kevin could not tolerate. Boom! Almost at the same time, Yi Lingchen's body suddenly flew forward. They could even see a footprint on the stage. Everyone felt their eyes blur while Yi Lingchen had already arrived in front of Kevin, throwing out a punch. Boom! The powerful fist force created a crater on the stage. However, Kevin managed to dodge it. Such quick movement techniques, Yi Lingchen's heart skipped a beat. He was not surprised that Murica had this kind of movement technique. What mages were most afraid of was naturally close combat, and in order to overcome that, it was not surprising that the group of awakened fighters from Murica had amazing movement techniques. Be it Kevin or Anna, their movement techniques were mainly about dodging. Kevin chuckled and opened his palms. There were actually two handfuls of seeds on them. They were actually seeds. Right after that, he casually scattered them and the seeds fell straight to the ground. Enjoy a green feast. Kevin's hands were covered by a green light. Following that, those seeds rapidly took root and grew at a speed visible to the naked eye. In three seconds, the entire arena was covered by a special type of vine. These vines were incomparably thick, and they were covered with barbs. I. F. C. K. This is too awesome. A wood element awakened fighter. How terrifying. Everyone's pupils constricted slightly, and they were incomparably terrified. It's the demon locking vine from the void realm. Wu Tianbao gasped, commenting, the demon locking vine isn't a plant from earth, but instead comes from the void realm. It's extremely tough, and the barbs are incomparably sharp, comparable to earth's bladed weapons. Even martial artists would be greatly troubled if they encountered it, and they would usually choose to take a detour. This is amazing. A wood element awakened fighter can actually nurture the vine, unbelievable. No wonder it is said that wood element awakened fighters only appear once in a thousand years. Could Murica's confidence be based on? Dot his ability to nurture the vine and also control it? Wu Tianbao's voice trembled a little as he finished the sentence. As though to answer his question, Kevin waved his hand casually and the vines immediately turned into octopuses, launching themselves at Yi Lingchen. Control. Control. 
Lin Shi and the others immediately had a worried and shocked expression. Everyone else had the same dramatic change too. Being able to stimulate the growth of plants was already extremely terrifying, let alone being able to control them at will. A wood element awakened one was truly terrifying. At that moment, countless demon-locking vines swept towards Yi Lingchen like phantom snakes. The scene resembled a myriad of snakes roaming about, making their everyone's scalp go numb. Spear technique, Phoenix Spear. As Yi Lingchen retreated, he rotated the long spear around his body and drew an arc. Instantly, a sharp qi wave shot out with Yi Lingchen as its core. All the surrounding vines in its way were sliced off. Yi Lingchen's hands did not stop moving. The long spear casted shadows all over the sky. For a moment, the spear qi was like a machine gun, crushing all the plants within a hundred meter radius. So, so powerful. Wu Tianbao could not help but exclaim, that Spear Qi is like a dragon, agile and domineering. I didn't expect Yi Lingchen to have held back in the previous matches. A spear technique like that could already be ranked in the top three among his peers. The battle had just only begun, but the power displayed by Yi Lingchen and Kevin had already shocked the whole audience. Everyone else was all somewhat dwarfed in comparison to them. This will be tricky. Tai Jun frowned slightly. Look at Kevin. It's obvious that he doesn't need much energy to control those plants. On the other hand, Yi Lingchen will definitely consume a lot of energy using his spear technique in such a large area. If this continues, he'll definitely lose. This is too much. Jing Shan took in a breath of cold air. Isn't Wood afraid of fire? Why isn't Yi Lingchen using fire? Lin Shi asked. A martial artist's spirit power had many uses. Although it couldn't be directly converted into fire, it was still very easy to generate high temperatures. As long as that was Yi Lingchen's intention, he could easily turn his long spear into a fire-pointed spear, but he did not do that. Tai Jun shook his head. It's not that easy. In layman's terms, Wood was indeed afraid of fire, but there were exceptions to everything. The demon-locking vines just so happened to be the type of plant that did not fear fire much. A lot of common sense that existed on Earth would be distorted in the void realm. The demon locking vine's vitality was extremely vigorous and its growth speed was extremely fast. With sharp barbs and firm roots, it was already very difficult for Yi Lingchen to use his long spear to crush the vines. Then, Tai Jun added, of course, normal fire is useless against the demon locking vine, but the void realm has another special flame. The outcome would be rather different then. So it's helpless then? Jing Shan asked begrudgingly. Isn't it cheating to bring a plant seed into the arena? In the arena, those vines grew endlessly and constantly emerged from the ground despite Yi Lingchen's best efforts to destroy them. The speed of their growth was so fast that one would be dizzy just looking at it. It was a helpless feeling to be meeting such an opponent. It's not entirely helpless. If Yi Lingchen can destroy everything with one spear attack, then the battle will be over. At almost the same time as Tai Jun's words, Yi Lingchen's spear technique suddenly changed. The spear shadows that filled the sky converged into one point. His body was several times faster than before, and the aura of his whole body also increased dramatically at this moment. It's coming, one spear attack to decide the winner? Did he first use the spear chi to sweep off and create a vacuum area for himself before accumulating his power to unleash his strongest attack? Everyone had guessed Yi Lingchen's target, a cold light flashed. Those vines were easily cut apart, regardless of the direction. Some were even cut by the spear chi when they were still a few meters away. That spear attack was unstoppable. Such powerful spiritual strength. Yi Lingchen's power and speed has already surpassed the peak of innate stage. Wu Tianbao could not help but stand up in shock. The spear attack had locked onto Kevin's location from a distance. All attacks were crushed with one move. In the blink of an eye, the long spear was just inches away from Kevin. However, a small sapling suddenly appeared from the originally calm soil under Kevin's feet. Then, the sapling grew rapidly, reaching a height of one meter. A height of one meter could not be considered tall, but that tree was exceptionally thick and sturdy. It was one meter tall, but three meters wide, like a large bucket. The tree had blocked Kevin's path accurately, screech. The long spear pierced through, emitting an ear-piercing explosion sound. What was surprising was that the originally unstoppable speed of the long spear suddenly decreased. It was only able to pierce through half of the spear before it was unable to enter any further. 
The Iron Eating Tree. Wu Tianbao lived up to his role as a commentator. He was knowledgeable and quickly recalled the name of that tree. It's a plant from the void realm again. The iron eating tree doesn't need to be watered. It uses metal as fertilizer, hence its name. Therefore, it also has all the characteristics of metal. It is unafraid of water and fire and is as hard as iron. Kevin used that tree as a shield, and its defense is simply terrifying. Cheating. This is cheating. Jing Shan was already shouting madly. It's all plants from the void realm. This isn't fair at all. Murika's fearlessness turned out to be because they were so well prepared. Whether it was the demon locking vines or the iron eating tree, Murika had obviously spent a lot of money to get the seeds of those special plants. With the use of those plants in a fight, Kevin could definitely be considered invincible among those of the same level as he was. Go on and concede. Kevin looked at Yi Lingchen indifferently, you'll die if you continue fighting. Yi Lingchen's expression did not change as he said, stimulating the growth of the iron eating tree will consume a lot of your energy, right? The moment the iron eating tree grew, Yi Lingchen noticed that Kevin's face had suddenly turned pale and beads of sweat had appeared on the latter's forehead. It's no secret. The harder it is to stimulate the growth of plants, the more energy I will have to use. The demon locking vine itself is very strong, so it will be much easier for me to control it, but the growth cycle of the iron eating tree is too long, so it will consume a lot of energy for me. Kevin put his palms together. Don't blame me if you don't want to admit defeat. Creak, creak, creak. A crisp sound came from the iron eating tree. The part that had been pierced by Yi Lingchen started to heal and began biting tightly onto Yi Lingchen's long spear. Yi Lingchen would not be able to pull it out quickly because of that. Meanwhile, countless beautiful flowers started to grow out from the demon locking vines. The flowers were yellow in color and they were so beautifully tender. Those demon locking vines had all turned black, as if their life force had been sucked dry by these flowers, and they withered quickly. In just an instant, a strange fragrance covered the entire arena. That fragrance entered Yi Lingchen's nose, and his footing wavered slightly even though he had the ability to be impervious to all poisons. Hidden ground flower, it's the hidden ground flower. Wu Tianbao's voice trembled with fear. Back in the arena, those Trinity Convergence martial artists unleashed their spiritual power and sealed it off, preventing the slightest trace of that fragrance from leaking out. Tai Jun and Sun Hong Tao's expressions changed drastically at the same time. Their first instinct was to shout for Yi Lingchen to admit defeat. However, Yi Lingchen's laughter then came from the stage. So this is how a wood-based battle method works. Let me try. As soon as Yi Lingchen finished speaking, he abandoned the long spear in his hand and jumped up to stand on a vine. Wu Tianbao looked at Yi Lingchen's unscathed appearance and could not help but mutter, the hidden ground flower's poison has lost its effect? How is this possible? Kevin's face turned even paler, the look of despair on his face was very much evident. The hidden ground flower was also a plant from the void realm. It naturally emitted a strange fragrance, and the poison contained within that fragrance was absolutely horrifying. Even a martial artist would faint instantly after smelling it. Once they took more than five breaths of said fragrance, martial artists below King Stage would definitely die. Even King Stage martial artists did not dare to stay in such an environment for too long. At the same time, the hidden ground flower had a very overbearing characteristic. It required other plants as fodder for them to grow. Kevin's demon locking vines were not weak, and at the same time it could also be used as a nutrient for the hidden ground flower. With that close association, it was very much possible to fully utilize the wood element in battle. Yi Lingchen had been purely using his battle power in that match because he wanted to test the difference between a wood-based awakened one and his own wood spirit constitution. At the same time, he wanted to learn from Kevin's battle techniques to better develop his wood spirit constitution. Previously, Yi Lingchen had only used his wood spirit constitution to promote the growth of spiritual herbs and had neglected the possibility of using it in a fight. That little guy is actually poison resistant. In the judge's seat, Zhou Jian smiled at the peak king stage martial artist from Murica and said, The demon locking vines, iron eating tree, and hidden ground flower are all rarities, but it's a pity that all the preparations have gone to waste. The king stage martial artist from Murica had a gloomy expression. Kevin was originally their most one they were most confident in, and their expectation was that he could even get five victories in a row. Never did they foresee he would face such a huge obstacle. 
An awakened one martial artist could be considered as a special kind of physique, but poison immunity was much rarer despite it being less aggressive. A martial artist with poison immunity was no less valuable than a wood element awakened martial artist. Poison immunity. Is there really such a constitution in this world? Jing Shan's eyes were red. Yi Ling Chen has a really wonderful life, doesn't he? I'm so jealous. Sun Hong Tao laughed, but then asked in confusion, what did he mean by his last sentence? The wood element's fighting style was indeed amazing, but what did it have to do with Yi Ling Chen? Yi Ling Chen looked at Kevin and said lightly, you've already reached your limit, right? Kevin snorted coldly and raised both of his hands to point at Yi Ling Chen. The demon locking vines moved once again and coiled toward Yi L Inchen like numerous giant pythons. They had regained their vitality under Yi Ling Chen's feet. Without any warning, those vines wrapped around his feet and made it difficult for him to move. In an instant, countless vines engulfed Yi Ling Chen. Kevin laughed loudly. Ha ha ha, you're too arrogant. Below the arena, many people also shook their heads and sighed. He clearly knew that Kevin had the ability to manipulate plants and still dared to stand on the demon locking vine. He's asking for it. He's too arrogant, the winner has already been decided. That kid just loves showing off. Sun Hong Tao's expression was ugly. If he loses because of this, I won't FC King let it slide. Under everyone's watchful gaze, the vines that were shaking crazily suddenly stopped, and then slowly dispersed. Kevin's laughter came to an abrupt stop. The discussions of the crowd instantly disappeared. The whole place was dead silent, that, that is. The group of awakened ones from Murica stared in such disbelief that their eyes almost popped out. Even Tai Jun and Sun Hong Tao were shocked by the scene in front of them and were unable to speak. In the center of those countless vines, Yi Ling Chen stood there as if he was the king of the world. At that moment, he seemed to be the king of those vines. Whoosh, with a thought, those vines let out a burst of air-piercing sound, trapping the stunned Kevin tightly. Wood-based awakening? This is impossible. The Peak King stage martial artist from Murica suddenly let out a loud roar. His body had actually reached Yi Ling Chen's side before his sentence ended, after which, an endless pressure followed. Yi Ling Chen let out a muffled groan and his body retreated rapidly. However, the man from Murica stretched out a palm at the same time, as if he only needed to grab randomly and Yi Ling Chen's great abilities would not be able to escape from his palm. You're bullying a junior because you can't afford to lose? Only Murica has this kind of audacity. With a cold shout, Zhou Jian's body blocked Yi Ling Chen from the front, and spiritual energy began gushing out from his entire body. In Yi Ling Chen's eyes, the man seemed to have turned into a blade, with domineering fierceness that seemed capable of tearing apart everything. Boom! Without seeing how the two fought, the peak king stage warrior from Murica trembled and took three steps back. One more step and you're dead. The smile on Zhou Jian's face was gone, and he looked extremely cold. A hint of unwillingness flashed across the face of Murican martial artist, but he did not want to make another move. He therefore asked, how could there be an awakened one in your country? Who said that there can't be awakened ones in China? Besides, it's not certain whether he's an awakened one or not. After Zhou Jian said that, he directly looked at Wu Tianbao. The winner has been decided. It's time to announce the result. Oh, oh. Wu Tianbao finally came back to his senses and hurriedly said, This year's International Martial Arts Tournament champion is China. Those words definitively signaled the end of that tournament. Everyone came back to their senses, and countless gazes were focused on Yi Lingchen. At the last moment, Yi Lingchen's strength had already exceeded everyone's expectations, especially his ability to manipulate trees, which had completely subverted their worldview. Martial artists and awakened ones were two completely different existences, but it had actually achieved a perfect combination in Yi Lingchen's body. If everyone could do this, then, for a moment, countless people looked at Yi Lingchen with burning eyes. Even those peak king stage martial artists' eyes lit up like crazy. Sensing the strange atmosphere, Yi Lingchen's neck shrank and he directly hid behind Zhou Jian. Zhou Jian glared at Yi Lingchen, grabbed his shoulder, and appeared beside Sun Hong Tao in a flash. He said softly, if there's anything else, we'll talk when we get back. China's lounging area. Zhou Jian snapped at Yi Lingchen, you're too arrogant, you could have won with your martial arts, but you insisted on showing off. We're in big trouble this time. 
Yi Lingchen's anti-poison constitution had completely defeated Kevin, and Kevin had already used up a lot of his energy. Yi Lingchen did not actually have to reveal his wood element talent to win, but with that, he had become the target of each country. Jing Shan asked immediately, How did you do it? An awakened one and a martial artist, that was simply too amazing. You've cultivated both magic and martial arts. Yi Lingchen smiled but did not say anything. He turned to look at Sun Hongtao and said, Instructor Sun, now that I've got first place, our agreement says that I'll be allowed to set up a martial arts school. With this school, I will teach everything without reservation. Zhou Jian could not help his shock and stared at Yi Lingchen. Can you really enhance it fully? Awakened ones were people with special abilities that were unique to Western countries. They were not weaker than China's warriors at all. All countries have studied why people from different countries had different superpowers, and some even tried to fuse them together, but all of them ended in failure. After countless failures, it could only be attributed to the different abilities due to different genes. It was like talents that could not be changed. However, Yi Lingchen had not only fused them together, but even managed to enhance them? Why would Peak King stage martial artists from Murica and many other countries target Yi Lingchen? It was because such a thing was too unbelievable, and its significance was that it transcended the present era. Yes. Yi Lingchen nodded. Such a momentous thing was as simple as eating and drinking water for him. It's just a mortal cultivation. A mortal cultivation? Jing Shan, Lin Shi and the others all stared at Yi Lingchen with their eyes wide open. Are you sure you are not joking? Sun Hongtao asked. If it's possible to cultivate martial arts, then why can't it be a mortal cultivation? Yi Lingchen retorted. How? Zhou Jian could not help but ask. It was a mortal cultivation. Countless legends about immortals had existed since ancient times. It sounded as though they were many levels higher than martial artists. Controlling the elements was exactly the kind of methods used by immortals in legends? It's not difficult to practice immortal cultivation. I have learned qi refinement methods. As long as one has the aptitude to practice immortal cultivation, they can learn it. However, the requirements to practice immortal cultivation are extremely high. Moreover, just like the awakened ones, they are divided into metal, wood, water, fire, earth, and electricity. How do we distinguish the aptitude for immortal cultivation? Zhou Jian went straight to the crux of the matter. I can see it. Currently, I'm the only one who can see a person's aptitude for immortal cultivation. You'll teach it if a school is established? Zhou Jian asked. Yi Lingchen shook his head. Of course not. My school will only accept geniuses, and its reputation must be number one in the world. As for the others, my opinion is that the entire nation must practice martial arts. Zhou Jian and Sun Hongtao frowned and did not say anything. Jing Shan and the rest inhaled sharply as they looked at Yi Lingchen in surprise. Everyone practicing martial arts? Yi Lingchen was going to announce it to the whole nation? Even the warrior's department did not have such courage to do so and Yi Lingchen just mentioned it so casually? We can't hide forever, Yi Lingchen continued. The cracks in the void realm will only grow bigger and bigger, and there will only be more supernatural incidents. It's not good to keep it a secret. It's better to let the whole nation accept martial arts. If everyone trains together, the power of earth will grow faster. What if the martial artists do evil? Sun Hongtao asked. Suppress them, Yi Lingchen said casually. You guys are thinking too much. Is there anyone who can beat us? What are you afraid of? He he. Zhou Jian could not help but laugh. You're like a newborn calf that isn't afraid of a tiger. I'll approve your request to open a martial arts school, and about everyone practicing martial arts, I'll also leave it in your hands. Let's see if you can keep everything steady. Yi Lingchen rubbed his hands excitedly and grinned, OJBK. The next step was to lead the people in the country to an era where everyone in the nation might as well practice martial arts. The thought of having taken that first step made him a little excited. Although my practice is with the blade, there are 10,000 paths connecting to it. This is my understanding of the blade. Take a look at it. It should be helpful for your spear technique. Zhou Jian casually threw a small booklet to Yi Lingchen and turned to leave. Yi Lingchen looked at the thin book and could not help but pout. That's all you're giving me, stingy? Sun Hong Tao's old face instantly turned red, and his heart beat quickly. Do you know how precious this thing is? A simple instruction from a peak king stage master is enough for an entire lifetime. But this is a lifetime of enlightenment from a peak king stage master. 
If this was a wuxia novel, it would be like the Nine Yin Manual. And you're still FC King looking down on it? Are you trying to kill me with embarrassment? Cough cough. Sun Hong Tao coughed lightly, for this victory, you'll be given the corresponding amount of merit points according to your results. Yi Ling Chen has contributed the most, and received 10,000 merit points, while the rest will receive 5,000 merit points. In addition, you'll also be given free healing elixirs to help in your recovery. Elder son, it's inhumane to do this, Yi Ling Chen said immediately. What's wrong? They're all injured, but I didn't suffer any injuries. Isn't this a waste of those benefits? You had to compensate me? Scram! Yi Ling Chen did not give up. If you compensate me, I'll scram immediately. Sun Hong Tao huffed and glared. 100 merit points. 500. Sun Hong Tao shouted at the top of his lungs and glared at Yi Ling Chen. 200. Take it or leave it. Deal. 200 merit points equaled 2 grams of high grade spirit stones. Yi Ling Chen smiled in satisfaction. Deal. Since the school was about to be established, he naturally had to accumulate more resources and prepare for the future. You guys rest well. In half a month, the Hell's Gates on Buff Island will open. When that time comes, you guys will enter with us and see the true nature of the Void Realm. Sun Hong Tao left everyone with an important piece of news and left. Entering the Void Realm, Yi Ling Chen and the others' thoughts instantly flew to the Void Realm. Buff Island was the only void realm in the world that could be entered. It was the first entrance that humans had conquered, which begged the question of what the other world looked like. Jung Dali and the others did not have the mood to joke anymore. They all stood up and went to treat their injuries. Yi Ling Chen, on the other hand, returned to his own room and started to read the booklet that Zhou Jian had given him. The name of the booklet was coined by Zhou Jian himself. Detailed Explanation of Blade Way Self-study, detailed explanation of the blade weight, blade technique talent plus one. Self-study, detailed explanation of the blade weight, blade technique talent plus one. Self-study, detailed explanation of the blade weight, blade technique talent plus one. Yi Ling Chen's pupils contracted. It was not proficiency that increased, but talent. System, what's going on? In addition to learning skills in the prodigy system, you can also learn similar talent attributes. For example, your wood spirit constitution and water spirit constitution are also considered talent attributes. Yi Ling Chen's eyes had a sudden hint of realization. Then after this kind of blade technique talent evolves, will it become the blade spirit constitution? You may understand it as so, so that's what it is. Yi Ling Chen was somewhat suspicious before. A lot of knowledge could not be considered skills. For example, if someone taught him how to wield a blade, he could not technically call it a skill right? And then there was the moving bricks. Could that be considered a skill? As for the detailed explanation of the blade way that Zhou Jian had given him, the content was not a martial art, but a comprehension and application of the blade technique. It could be said to be a kind of experience, but the system directly converted it into the blade technique talent. How important was talent? In layman's terms, it could be inferred using one example. To give a simple example, when an ordinary person learned a blade technique, they could only copy it mechanically in a stiff manner. However, for those with stellar talent, they could adapt to the situation and master the same moves. Therefore, a completely different ability would be displayed in their hands even though it was the same blade technique. Half a month's time passed in the blink of an eye. Everyone had made ample preparations for entering the void realm. Yi Ling Chen and the others followed Zhou Jian to the gathering place. He was instantly dumbfounded when he looked around. That many people? Everyone's going too? Zhou Jian nodded. That's right. All the participants are going. Yi Ling Chen curled his lips. What? I thought this was a benefit only for those who got first place. Ha ha ha. This little guy from your country is really interesting. Zhou Jian. The Peak King stage martial artist from Hellas walked over with a smile. He looked at Yi Ling Chen and said, You guys got really lucky this time. The gate on Buff Island is now very stable after a long period of stabilization. It's practically the most solid battlefield out there, and it's only now that you had the opportunity to pay them a visit. Visiting the Void Realm was a very rare opportunity. It's all thanks to the efforts of all our predecessors, Yi Ling Chen said sincerely. Toth nodded, yeah, I like hearing that. My name is Toth, and I've been friends with Zhou Jian for many years. At that point, Marina walked over and said to Yi Ling Chen in a low voice, thank you. 
Yi Lingchen was slightly surprised and realized that she was referring to what happened in the arena. The Sun Nation had interfered in the competition and their actions were quite shameless. Yi Lingchen had completely destroyed the Sun Nation, which could be taken as helping arena vent out her anger. He smiled and said, no thanks necessary, I've never taken kindly to them. After chatting for a while, Zhou Jian's expression turned serious. When you enter the void realm, you must not leave my side. No matter what you see or hear, you must not act on your own, understand? Yi Lingchen and the others nodded. The void realm is completely different from Earth. It is incomparably huge. To put it nicely, we've established a stronghold, but the truth is, this so-called stronghold is only the size of an ordinary town on Earth. There will also be void realm creatures roaming around. Pausing for a moment, Zhou Jian continued, in addition, many things that are common sense on Earth lose their effectiveness in the void realm. The simplest example is that it's very easy to get lost if you wander around randomly. Yi Lingchen rubbed his nose and felt slightly disappointed. The enthusiasm of Jing Shan and the others had also dropped drastically. He had heard that the Void Realm was full of treasures and originally hoped to earn some money by entering the Void Realm and gathering some of them, but that idea seemed impossible to realize. He could only move around in the surroundings, and the treasures there must surely have been taken away a long time ago. In addition, he could not leave the team either, and that little excursion was basically just a stroll in the Void Realm. Don't think about getting rich, Zhou Jian saw through everyone's thoughts and shouted coldly, there's no such thing as a free lunch in this world. If treasures are so easy to get, why are we so poor? I don't even have that many spirit stones with me. Yi Lingchen quickly asked, How much is, not that many, it will be a good reference point for me. Shut up. Zhou Jian was furious and continued, Not many. All you need to know is that something will be guarding all those treasures. With your strength, your first reaction upon seeing a treasure is not to snatch it, but to flee, otherwise, you won't even know how you died. After giving some instructions, Zhou Jian led everyone towards the entrance of the Hell's Gate. As they got closer to the Hell's Gate, the spiritual qi became even denser. However, the atmosphere also became extremely heavy and was almost suffocating too. The most obvious change was that the number of martial artists began increasing as they went in. Yi Lingchen's gaze glossed over them before he was left in awe. These martial artists were guarding Hell's Gate on Buff Island. They had experienced countless killings, when he used his aura divination skills on them, practically the entire world had turned red. Any one of them would have as much killing intent as Tai Jun. Under such an atmosphere, everyone consciously fell silent. Not long after they continued to move forward, everyone's pupils shrank, and they were extremely shocked. So huge, Yi Lingchen inhaled sharply. The Hell's Gate in front of him was several times bigger than the one in Capital. If the one in capital was a wormhole that was similar to a black hole, then the one in front of him was a real gate. The door stood dozens of meters tall. Such a huge wormhole was extremely deep, and at first glance, it was dizzying because it looked like it was going to suck them all in. The Hell's Gate was just a small whirlpool at the beginning. As it got bigger and bigger, it expanded from a whirlpool to a door like this, Sun Hong Tao explained. Yi Lingchen remarked confusedly, there are so few guards outside. These guards are protecting against the outside world. The core forces are all inside the void realm, Sun Hong Tao said with a smile. Zhou Jian then said, let's go. Yi Lingchen felt a mysterious feeling the moment they entered. It was as if he felt a slight obstruction after having taken one simple step. His body swayed slightly, as if he had traveled through space and time. In the next moment, the scene in front of him had changed. They appeared in a group of wooden buildings. The architectural style was very simple, somewhat similar to the ancient times. One by one, the buildings made them feel as though they had traveled to an ancient town. On the streets, many martial artists were carrying their weapons on their backs as they walked. Everyone's attention was soon attracted by a sign not far away. There's actually a shop here. Most of the high-level martial artists in the world are gathered here, so it's only natural to have transactions between them. Spirit stones, cultivation methods, secret manuals, spiritual herbs. Everything can be traded here, Sun Hong Tao said with a smile. Everyone, including the foreign martial artists, looked around curiously. This is the human race's first base in the void realm. The town was not that big and took them only a short while to circle it completely. More than half of Earth's high-end combat power was gathered there, 
and the low-level innate stage martial artists acted as shop attendants. Hell's Gate was what separated their world from a completely different one. On the way, everyone exclaimed again and again and felt like they were in an entirely foreign place. There were city walls encircling the town with martial artists guarding them. Apart from that, there were also a few tall towers, with some martial artists paying special attention to the situation around them. Except for the extremely rich spiritual energy, everything feels the same as Earth. Yi Lingchen murmured and raised his head to look at the sky. His pupils contracted because of that glance. There was no sun in the void realm sky. It was like a piece of white paper. There were no clouds, no sun, nothing at all. It went against all logic. How could there be day and night if there was no sun? Zhou Jian looked at Yi Lingchen. You've noticed that there's no sun here. How is that possible? Is there night here? There is. Zhou Jian nodded and continued. We were also shocked when we first entered the void realm. We still don't know why, even until now. Someone then made a guess. Do you know about bugs under fluorescent lights? Bugs under the fluorescent lights? Yi Lingchen's heart skipped a beat. For bugs, fluorescent lights were the sun, and the fluorescent lights were the sky. The lights were turned on during the day and switched off at night. At that moment, Yi Lingchen and the others felt that the void realm sky was like a fluorescent light, while they were the bugs under those lights. Yi Lingchen said in a low voice, this sky is really unusual. The sky provided the void realms day and night. At the same time, the countless amount of spiritual qi in the void realm was also provided by that sky. Simply put, the sky there was like a general switch. Whether it was the day-night change, the seasonal change of wind, frost, rain, and snow, or the birth of spiritual qi, it was all provided by this sky. Common sense? Non-existent. It's probably because the laws of operation in each world are different. At the moment, this isn't something that we can discuss, Zhou Jian said. Next up, we'll venture beyond the town. The surrounding area is cleared daily, so it's still considered safe, but remember, don't leave the team. After passing through the city wall, there was nothing else obstructing their line of sight. There was a forest some distance away. Every tree might be likened to millennium-old trees on earth. They towered into the clouds and their leaves were remarkably lush. The entire forest seemed to be covered by a large green lid, blotting out the sky and the sun. Forests are the vastest in the void realm, Zhou Jian said. At the same time, the forest is also the most dangerous place. There are a large number of demonic beasts living inside. Even those humanoid creatures in the void realm are afraid to enter the forest on a whim. At this time, Lin Qi scolded coyly and stared at Jing Shan saying, I saw this grass first. What are you doing? Give it to me. What's the use if you saw it first? I picked it first, Jing Shan curled his lips and casually put the grass into his pocket. The grass was as long as a person's palm and there were a string of fiery red marks in the middle of its emerald green leaves. It looked very unusual. You're not a man. You're robbing something that belongs to a woman. Lin Shi snorted and quickly changed her target as she scanned the ground quickly. Even those from other countries were behaving the same, sparing not a single blade of grass. What are you guys doing? The Seven Peak King stage lead his faces turned green. Yi Lingchen saw that Jing Shan's clothes were actually modified and had inner pockets everywhere. He could not help but say, impressive. Ha ha ha, I've been busy with this outfit for the past half a month. There are eight inner pockets inside, and I'm sure I'll be able to return with a full load this time. Jing Shan laughed proudly, don't look down on all these weeds I picked. The fact that they grew in the void realm means that they're the good stuff that you can bring to earth. At the very least, they're better than your run-of-the-mill veggies. After saying that, he even dug out a stalk of grass to demonstrate, look at the roots of this grass, it's practically a small ginseng. For a moment, the entire scene became like a gathering place for bandits. Everyone used their own methods to scour the place like locusts crossing the border. Not a single blade of grass was spared. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. However, at that moment, the Peak King stage martial artist from Hellas suddenly laughed wildly and said with a nostalgic expression, Let this group of kids have fun. Weren't we just like this when we first came in? Then, he looked at Yi Lingchen and said with a sigh, Little guy, it seems that you weren't smart enough to prepare yourself before coming to the Void Realm. Jing Shan gloated, Don't panic, Brother Lingchen. I'll give you some when we get out. No need. Yi Lingchen shook his head. 
His expression was extremely calm as he silently took out a large snakeskin bag from his pocket. I'm not as flashy as you guys. All I brought is a snakeskin bag. FCK. Jing Shan cursed. He looked at the clothes that he had carefully modified and then looked at the large snakeskin bag. He could not help but cry, what do I need this shirt for, then? Then, he saw that Yi Lingchen did not stop to pick the grass. Instead, he directly stuffed all the soil from the ground into the bag. How inhuman do you have to be that you're even taking the soil? Some noise was heard just as everyone was looting in the void realm. They saw a few figures moving in the forest not far ahead. Those beings had spotted Yi Lingchen and the others and their faces were filled with hatred. They conversed with murderous intent as they charged towards the group. These were four creatures from the Void Realm, and all of them had the power equivalent to A plus rank. Kill! Everyone's faces froze. They did not hesitate to attack, and a battle to the death soon commenced. That was only the outer area of the Void Realm and was also the base for humans. Logically speaking, there should not be any creatures from the Void Realm, and it was puzzling as to why they would be there. However, it was clearly not the time to consider that problem. Yi Lingchen did not have any thoughts of hiding. He directly held the long spear in his hand and performed the phoenix spear technique. A target was chosen and the opponent was enveloped in layers of spear shadows. His current strength was more than enough to deal with an a plus rank creature. He would never let the opponent have the chance to escape. Zhou Jian also picked a target, leaving the other two to be dealt with by the others. Those creatures lived in the void realm all year round, hence their extreme familiarity with the jungles. They were much more flexible compared to when they were on earth, making them even more difficult to deal with. They began showing the intention of retreating after realizing that they were gradually falling into a disadvantage. Yi Lingchen, however, stopped them and killed all four mercilessly. It was meaningless to capture the void realm's creatures alive. Both sides would not rest until one party died, so the creatures were killed right away. Zhou Jian frowned and said, they're probably checking us out. I'm sure they have ulterior motives for coming here. Yi Lingchen could not help but put on a pensive look when looking at the appearance of these four creatures. He said, Instructor Zhou, I have an idea. A moment later. Everyone looked at Li Nin Fan with their eyes wide open, their faces full of shock. You, you're Yi Lingchen? FCK. Are you for real? How is this even makeup? This is a complete transformation. If this was the first time I saw you, I definitely wouldn't have doubted that you're a creature from the void realm. I would probably even killed you at first sight. With the help of the corpses of the four void realm creatures, Yi Lingchen had actually used the disguise art, perfectly turning into a void realm creature without any flaws. That was no longer makeup, it had evolved into a divine transfiguration. Zhou Jian shook his head and said, Ling Chen, the Void Realm creatures seem to have their own unique aura. I'm afraid that just changing their appearance is not enough. In the past, there were people who had tried to sneak into the Void Realm, but all their attempts ended in failure. Yi Ling Chen smiled and said, Don't worry, Instructor Zhou. I have a way that should work. He had the breath control technique, which had evolved from camouflage. He had already tried it before and could successfully evade detection from the Void Realm's creatures. Coupled with transfiguration, he would likely not be exposed. Zhou Jian was still a bit worried, so he said, we need to deliberate on this for some time. Then, he said solemnly, Ling Chen, you must not act alone. Yi Ling Chen felt a warmth in his heart. In the next few days, everyone moved around in the outer rim. However, Zhou Jian also brought up Yi Ling Chen's suggestion and had a serious discussion with the higher ups. In the end, he decided to let Yi Ling Chen blend into a small team in the outer area first to ascertain the situation. If things went awry, they could then attack together. Following that, extensive preparation was made. Yi Ling Chen blended perfectly with the Void Realm's creatures. However, he still had a difficult problem to face, which was communication. He had specially learned the voice actor skill so his voice would not be a problem. The problem was his language. Fortunately, he had mastered many basic Void Realm languages, so he was at least able to pull through with it. Under everyone's worried gazes, Yi Lingchen blended into the Void Realm creatures and entered a city near the Void Realm. He was very cautious at first. After familiarizing himself with the environment, he realized that the basic layout of the city was similar to that of Earth. However, the technology was not too advanced and was mostly similar to Earth's ancient times. 
In addition, there were many extraordinary things. For example, stones that could emit their own light would act as lighting, while there were various interesting plants and pets. He found an opportunity to enter the Void Realm's library and immediately began to cram in knowledge. For a prodigy like him, his biggest cheat was books. Reading, Void Realm Dictionary, Void Realm Language Proficiency Plus One. Watch the, Void Realm Geography, Void Realm Geography Proficiency Plus One. Watch the, Void Realm Body Refining Art, Void Realm Body Refining Art Plus One. This place really is a treasure trove. Yi Ling Chen exclaimed in his heart, feeling extremely excited. The dictionary allowed him to familiarize himself with the language. Not only would it allow him to blend in seamlessly, it would also be a qualitative leap from all of Earth as he could then be fully prepared to deal with the void realm. The book on geography was even more priceless. If a person's original understanding of the void realm was 10%, then the geography book would raise their understanding of the void realm to 50%. That was not an exaggeration. On deeper thought, it would be absolutely terrifying if the Void Realm's inhabitants obtained the Earth's geography. As for the body refining art, it was a common technique practiced by Void Realm creatures. It could be said to be a common martial art, focusing on the physical body. Combined with their battle power, that martial art was far from ordinary. Yi Ling Chen could clearly feel his physique getting stronger. Since there is a body refining technique, there must be other cultivation techniques too. If I can bring these to Earth, it will definitely bring Earth's martial arts to a higher level. Lin and Fan thought to himself, in the following days, he would go to the library whenever he had the time. However, his heart was getting heavier and heavier. According to some books, the Void Realm was not that simple. The creatures living in it were all extremely powerful, and there were even creatures that were on the level of a prehistoric beast. Besides the body refining technique, there were indeed other techniques. These techniques were all very powerful, and even above Lin and Fan's immortal cultivation, Lin and Fan almost thought that this was a world of immortal cultivation. There was a saying in the past about shattering the void. Could it be that this is the world after the void was shattered? Then what exactly happened to cause it to become like this? Unfortunately, that was only a small city and he could not get any more answers. He only knew that there were many powerful existences in the void realm, but they did not come over because of the wormhole's limit. There are even SSS grade beings. Yi Ling Chen inhaled sharply. That was just too terrifying. If SSS grade existences came to Earth, it would definitely spell the end of the world. They would crush nuclear weapons, and no one would be able to stop them. Following that, Lin and Fan continued to stay in the void realm. Every half a month, he would pass on the information he had obtained through patrolling. At the same time, he also received news that powerful warriors were gathering in the void realm. There seemed to be a particularly strong individual who had lost his patience and was preparing to launch a major attack on Earth. Moreover, there were a few new tunnels that seemed to have been dug out again. The situation instantly became much more tense. Meanwhile, things were heating up on Earth's side too. The major media outlets began to deliberately broadcast hot-blooded dramas. At the same time, anti-war movies and patriotic channels were also increasing. There were even special news broadcasts occasionally, such as a mouse half the height of a man, powerful mutated tigers and so on. The most noticeable thing was that the situation between the various countries had been greatly alleviated. The trend seemed to be faintly leaning toward joint cooperation. Meanwhile, the status of China was even more prominent, showing minor signs of becoming a leader. Some keen-eyed people had vaguely sensed that something was up and the world seemed to be a little unstable. The insiders knew that all of this was because of one person, the hero who had lurked in the void realm and walked on the edge of a knife for earth. In the blink of an eye, a year had passed, following the outbreak of the void realm, an unprecedented great war began. Countless space passageways seemed to have launched a full-scale attack on earth, as if everything was already discussed beforehand. The terrifying great war was accompanied by the movement of missiles, and the exchange of experts also caused the world to rumble. Exotic beasts also appeared frequently, roaring incessantly. The news could no longer be kept under wraps, causing an uproar on Earth all of a sudden. At that moment, bloody videos began transmitting out one after another, and the names of heroes began to make its rounds. Some heroes even stood out and led the way. Holy sh asterisk t, so the world of science is only on the surface. This is actually the world of immortal cultivation. It's too terrifying. 
Humans can actually become so powerful. Ah, I want to practice martial arts. I want to kill enemies, my blood is boiling. I saw my comrade, this son of AB asterisk TCH. He is on the front line all by himself, and he didn't even bring me along. So these wise are all the same person. It is Yi Ling Chen, God Yi. God Yi is too powerful. God Yi's company has saved countless people recently, and the technology companies have even started to use black technology. I heard that Iron Man exists for real now. God Yi is a true god, he's omnipotent. God Yi has been working as a spy in the void realm for the sake of Earth, I'm crying. God Yi is the light of this world. Following that, martial arts cultivation methods were publicized to the public. Countless people, many without a name, soon signed up for battle. Hordes of people left their hometown, their parents, and their loved ones. They left in order to protect them better. It was a great, tragic battle between two worlds. In the blink of an eye, another three years had passed. During that period of time, Yi Lingchen had worked together with Earth to neutralize the attacks again and again, allowing Earth to gain a huge advantage. His strength had also increased by leaps and bounds. He was the hero of all mankind, and his popularity had increased exponentially by the day. After the advanced level lucky draws, it had evolved into a god level lucky draw, and he already had a lot of god level techniques with him. His strength had already reached the peak and he no longer needed to be a spy. After cooperating with Earth to destroy a large city in the Void Realm, he directly appeared and used his tyrannical strength to deliver a decisive blow to a king stage existence in the Void Realm. The entire Earth's morale was greatly boosted. Congratulations, host, through a god-level lucky draw, cultivation has evolved into saint. Congratulations, host, through a god-level lucky draw, advanced body refining technique has evolved into nine transformations mystic art. Congratulations, host, through a god-level lucky draw, blessing has evolved into wind rain summoning. Congratulations, host, through a god-level lucky draw, fire control has evolved into the bright southern flame. Yi Ling Chen was always at the forefront of every battle. His entire body was bathed in light, as if an undefeatable god of war had descended. His popularity had already become a kind of belief, allowing him to transcend into a saint. As he conquered the void realm, he opened up a new and extremely magnificent era. It was an era where martial arts and technology coexisted. Ancient martial arts, high tech, and genetic evolution of life coexisted, among other things. The void realm and earth were originally two separate worlds. Yi Lingchen had patched up those passageways. At the same time, he expanded his martial arts legacy, making earth the mortal world, while the void realm was established as the immortal world. As for Yi Lingchen, he lived a carefree and happy life with his many female confidants. The end.